Bean Copilot's Dolly 3, in my opinion, is the best image generator there is, and is the reason why 99.9% .9 of my video images are made using this platform. At the end of this video, I will let you in on a secret as to how to get more images from Bean Create when you run out of credits. One issue, however, is the fact that the images are square and sometimes you want a portrait for easy mobile viewing or landscape on laptops. You will notice on all my videos, the images are both portrait and or landscape, so I use these three methods to make Bing Image Create square images into whatever format I need. Here are the three methods to make Bing Image Create square images into whatever format you need. Number one, in Bing Image Create, use special worded syntax in your prompt to get the part of the image you want to focus on the center of the image. Use words like, from a distance, in the center of the image. You'll need to experiment as the image generator does not always follow instructions to the T, but you will get there pretty quickly. In this way, you can use Inkscape to create the right size canvas you want your ultimate images to be. Then you can coax your image to cover the canvas. Sometimes you can slightly stretch or shrink an image to get the look you want without affecting the overall results. Export the image and you have your final image. Number two, in Bing Image Create, create the image you want and export it. Now we will use two free platforms to do some work for us. The first is promia.com, create a free account. Then we want to go to the album painting on the side of the panel menu. We upload the image and on the bottom left hand side we select the scale that we want. Scale and arrange your image inside the canvas. The generator will try to fill in the white spaces to complete your image. You may have to make several attempts to get what you want. Then export the image. The image will be in low resolution, but we are going to use another free service to upscale the image. Create a free account with CART. AI. On the side panel menu, select Upscale. Then on the right hand side, select the upscale to number 3. Click Submit. The image will be upscaled, so you need to scroll down, click on the new image, and then right click and export it. The only issue with this method is that there is no guarantee that these services will always be there or will always be free. They have limits as to how many times you can access these services, but from what I found, they are very generous. Number 3. This method requires two steps with Bing Image Create. You create a character, then a background. For the character, you define your character or object and put your prompt that you want a white background. Again, this doesn't always work, so you need to try it a few times. For the background, you need to make sure that you have an area where you can place your foreground object. If you leave out certain objects or characters, you'll be able to stretch or shrink the image to suit your needs. We load the background into Inkscape and select the canvas size. We place the stretch our image so that it covers the space and looks good. Now we load GIMP, remove the white background, cut the image. You can watch another video, link in the description, that covers this in more detail in case you can't quite follow along. When you cut the image, it will be on your clipboard so you can open Inkscape and paste it in. You then scale it so that it looks natural on your background image. Now you can export the image. With these three methods, you can now enjoy a very high quality of Bing Create Dolly 3 and get portrait or landscape images for your project. Here is a bonus on how to get more images from Bing Create if you run out of credits. Bing Copilot's chat will create images if you ask it to. Just add, can you make this image, followed by your description. Bing Copilot will say, it will try, but I found it always comes through. Another method is to buy credits using points you earn while using Bing and Microsoft Edge browser. I found that it really comes in handy. 500 points will get you 5 image generation prompts. Thank you for watching this how-to video. I hope it was useful. Every now and then I'll post content like this as I discover new ways of doing things. My main focus is I am creating a multi-application platform and am incorporating AI using Llama 2. This is proving to be very challenging but also very interesting. You might want to check out my AI Insight shorts. I research and publish content on a regular basis. These shorts are informative and entertaining. I know it hurts, but could you subscribe as it gives me a moral boost to get even more enjoyment as I plot along with these projects. Thank you.